Hey, Pokedad fan club, it's me, Pokedad. Today we're looking at another deck uh, from Fates Collide. Um, actually, a good friend of mine, po uh, Pokedex, oh, did a review on this, uh, I think just yesterday. And uh, kind of beat me to the punch. So our decks are very similar, but we have a few distinct differences. But I do want to give him credit because uh, he came out with it just uh, yesterday and uh, I didn't want anybody to think of, you know, copying him. Uh, they actually have some, um, some in Japan that have been playing this deck since they already had it out. So I was looking at some of those decks. But I'm going to put my own little twist on this deck. Um, this is one of those decks where I really think uh, it's going to be a sleeper. Um, and it may end up... This is a bold prediction, but I think it may, after rotation, could potentially be best deck in format. Um, just because it's a very simple, straightforward deck. Um, it hits for a ton of damage, um, and you're going to force your opponent to take, you know, five, six prizes. We do play a couple of Shaman EXs, but if we can keep those off the bench... Uh, we could potentially make them take six prizes on us. So let's look at this uh, Lucario. What makes it so good? It's only 110 HP, and it's a metal version. So Riolu comes in as fighting, but then he evolves into a metal Lucario. First attack of Vacuum Wave does 50 damage uh, for one um, still energy. I think that's pretty good. I mean, 50 damage for one energy, that's... That's pretty good. Uh, but then he has this attack called Fight Alone. And for a metal and a colorless, it does 30 damage. And then uh, you basically count your number of bench Pokemon. You count your opponent's number of bench Pokemon, subtract your number of bench Pokemon, and then multiply that by 60 uh, and add 30. So let me just give you a couple numbers. If your opponent has five bench Pokemon, and you only have uh, one bench Pokemon, then this attack would do 6 times 4, which is 240, plus the 30 would do 270 damage. So you're knocking out uh, Megas pretty easily. Um, if your bench differential is 3, uh, you're going to be doing 210, and you know that's going to knock out most, EX, most EXs and most Megas. You're looking at, um, uh, let's see, Mega... Gardevoir. I guess Mega Manetric is resistant though, so I don't know if it would knock him out. But you're still going to put a ton of damage on, so um, even a 1 differential is going to give 90 damage, which is still uh, 2 hit KOing most EXs. So um, I think this card is going to be pretty powerful. We're going to try the deck out and see how well we can do. Uh, we do have to have a few other cards here. Um, one that I like is playing a 1-1 one, one line of the new Marowak uh, with the body, Bodyguard. Prevent all effects of attacks done to you or your hand by your opponent's Pokemon and remove any existing conditions. The only thing I can think this affects right now is Seismitoad and Giratina. But um, since we are playing a pretty heavy item deck, uh, this just makes sense to, to play in our deck. And I think most fighting decks probably should be running a 1-1 line, especially if you're going to run Karina, uh, which we are running a couple of Karina in this deck. Uh, so I do think that this is, you know, if you're running fighting anyway, you might as well run a 1-1 line of it. Um, and then if you see that you're going to be playing Toad or Tina, you can just uh, get it into play as quickly as possible. We also play a couple of Shaman EX, that's to help us set up, especially since we're stage one Pokemon. So we are going to need a little bit of time to set up. Um, and we're also a two attachment Pokemon since it's uh, a metal and a colorless. In this case, we're just going to play metal. So um, we do need a little bit of time. So we play a couple things to give us that extra time. Uh, one is we play Unknown. Unknown can be a draw support, but he also can be like a little shield for us um, if we need it. Um, Farewell Letter, uh, you can discard the Unknown and then draw a card. So it's really cool. We can set our bench up, put as many Unknowns on there as we need. 
uh, but then whenever we need to bring our bench down to have a greater differential against our opponents uh, we can just use the farewell letter get rid of them and then draw some cards the other thing that we use to help us with this bench differential and also just to uh, tank so uh, we have time to set up Lucario and that is Robo Substitute uh, and we, one reason why I like getting Karina here is because we can grab a Riolo and a Rob Robo Substitute um, and be right on our merry way so I feel like it's good to play Karina in this deck um, even though Steel type and we're probably going to need to either draw into it with Sycamore in or use Ultra Balls uh, to get into the Lucario's, I still think we'll be doing just fine here by playing a couple Karinas. Um, we do play one level ball uh, that can help us grab uh, Cubone, can help us get Riolu, um, and then we can also get the unknowns with it. So uh, that can help, that can become a draw card for us if we need to get an unknown. We also play one Super Rod. Um, I might even. I've even considered putting this to Sacred Ash, uh, just because you got to think uh, with only a we're only playing with four attackers here. Um, so if we needed to, uh, we if we need to get more back, we can. Or if we have to sick more something away, it might be better to play a Sacred Ash here. But uh, we'll play the Super Rod just to test it out and see how it works. Uh, we play three Target Whistles. Now this is very important to the deck. Target Whistle allows us to take a Pokemon in our opponent's discard pile and put it on their bench. So Target Whistle um, will help offset that differential there. Um, so, you know, if they if we can knock out a Shaman EX and then Target Whistle it back on and then Lysander it up, we can take some easy prizes that way. But even if we can't do Shaman, we can even anything, just putting anything will make our, is going to be like an extra 60 damage uh, coming out for us. So there's no reason not to play the Target Whistle. For uh, Trainer's Mills, uh, that's just consistent to find other things, get into our Karinas and our Lysanders and our tool cards, because we play a lot of items in this deck. So for, for um, Trainer's Mills, makes sense. Four Ultra Balls also makes sense. Uh, Ultra Ball lets us discard two cards and grab any uh, Pokemon that we need. We can grab Shaman if we need it. Or we can grab um, the Lucario if we need it. Uh, Via Seeker, we're only playing three. And my theory on this is if you're not playing Battle Compressor in the deck, uh, the last thing you want is to get stuck with an opening hand of uh, you know, two or three VS Seekers and a Sycamore, and you have to just get rid of all those. Uh, at least with Battle Compressor, sometimes you have outs. We are playing in, so that gives us also some other outs, but uh, I'd rather just up the count on supporters and uh, lower the VS Seeker. So that's what we're doing. Playing three VS Seekers, playing two Karina. Karina allows us to get a Fighting Pokemon and uh, item card. So uh, we can grab like a EXP share or we can grab an Ultra Ball or a Robo Sub like I mentioned before. Uh, Lysander, we use this just to bring up an opponent's uh, bench Pokemon to the active place so we can take a knockout. And Target Whistle, Lysander put together can be very deadly because again we can put Shaman EXs on the bench and then Lysander them up. And we only need to have a two bench differential to knock out. Shaman EX at that point it would hit for 150 so um, that's pretty nice. Playing 3 in, in is back into the format. Uh, each player shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and then each player draws a card for each of his remaining prizes. So at the beginning of the game we get it becomes a draw supporter of 6. At the end game it can be a disruption card for our opponent but it is a double-edged sword it can be a disruption for us too. So. Uh, we've got to be careful of that. We want to thin our deck as much as possible when we get to the end game so that we have the most chances, if we do get in, uh, of hitting what we need. Sycamore, we have played three of those. You could play a fourth, but with Karina Engine in here, I just felt like we didn't really need the fourth Sycamore. 
And then uh, two still shelters. Now, I know some people are playing Skyfield. Um, I mentioned Pokedex. He was playing Skyfield in his. Um, and that's, you know, perfectly fine. Uh, the only problem is, is I don't think you're going to, you're going to get your opponent to fill up their bench full of eight. I mean, unless you're playing Mega Ray and then they're going to be playing it anyway. So, um, I don't think it's really necessary. Uh, I chose still shelter because there is special conditions are beginning to come back a little bit. Um, especially with the new chaos, uh, stadium, I forget what it's called, but uh, parallel paralysis and confusion and even aridosis poison are all big things now. Hypno sleep, so still shelter seems like it could be one of those cards that will help us uh, keep our Lucario from any special conditions. So I like uh, playing that in this deck. Um, EXP share. I think this is just a necessity in the deck because it's a two attachment, but EXP share turns it into just a one attachment for us. So it allows us to stream the Lucario's a little bit faster, um, a little bit more quickly for us. So uh, I do like EXP share. And then sometimes we get unknown or shame. Life centered up, or even this Marowak, it has two. Um, a two retreat cost. We played a couple float stones just to help us get, um, you know, get stuff out of the active if we if it's stuck in there. And then eight metal energies. So anyway, guys, that is the deck profile. Uh, I hope you like this. We're gonna do some battle videos, so I'll upload those separately like I always do. But here is the Lucario um, heavy hitting, um, mega killing. Uh, deck profile for you so anyway hit like give me a thumbs up again i'm trying to get 20 likes on every video so if you could give me a just quick thumbs up on here i'd really really appreciate it um also uh, please put some questions or comments below and then finally if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button anyway guys talk to you later bye